So in the first part of this Let's Play, we had four wins, four knockouts, and two offensive racial stereotypes. And we start off pretty well here with Bob Charlie, a Jamaican guy who asked me if I can feel the rhythm like he's straight out of Cool Runnings. Uh, this game is more racist than Mel Gibson sometimes. Alright, so Bob Charlie is not really that hard. The only thing you have to watch out for is that his punches have kind of a weird timing to them. Like, he starts telegraphing them way before they actually come. But once you get used to that, all you have to do is do the same thing you do on pretty much every every uh, other boxer in this game. And just uh, block or dodge his hits and then counter back with a regular shot followed by a hard super punch. And again, I'm sure there are other people who can beat him faster, but, you know, let's put it this way, I haven't lost on this guy in a long, long time. So down he goes. And when he comes back up, it should be time to shuck and jive, which basically means he's just gonna move around a little bit more. And here is his, uh, not a one-hit KO, but a very powerful punch. And what I tried to do was super punch him while he was doing that, because that would have knocked him cold. Like, he would have been out on the mat. But unfortunately, I messed up the timing a little bit, so I ended up getting hit. And for the rest of the fight, you basically just follow the standard formula of blocking or dodging and then countering back with some of your own. And actually, this, uh, the major circuit, it's not the hardest circuit, but it's probably my worst one, so, you know, if I'm rife for attacking, for being bad at this game, this is probably the time to do it, because I'm no good at basically anybody in this circuit. Still 48 seconds is a, a respectable time, I guess, so we'll move on. Oh, second place. Okay. So we got Dragon Chan, which sounds like what Paris Hilton would name a baby she adopted from China. I hope that's the game being racist and not me. So, if you hadn't guessed already, Dragon Chan is a mixture of Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, and his gimmick is that he performs kung fu in the ring, which I actually think puts him at a real disadvantage because he's wearing boxing gloves. I mean, that has to cushion those karate chops a little bit. So again, you know, I'm not fantastic at this guy, but I'm pretty good. The tactic, as you might have guessed, just block or dodge his attacks and then come back with some of your own. But the reason this guy's a little tricky, particularly for new players, is he has a couple moves that are one-hit KOs, and a couple moves that you really haven't seen before, meaning he uh, kickboxes. Yeah. So if you don't dodge to the right side on these, you'll be knocked out. And if you don't duck behind this flying kick, you're going to be knocked out. So, you know, he's pretty unforgiving if you don't know what to expect, but once you get used to it, it's not a problem at all. He also has one more special move, which uh, causes him to regenerate health. He kind of phases for a second and then regenerates health. Uh, I guess the trick to beating him is that uh, you can hit him during this. Yeah, this right here. So if you hit him during that, he doesn't get any health back, and he takes a little bit more damage. Now, you know, I'm pushing a minute here, and I think it takes me more than a, more than a minute to beat him, obviously, at this point. Uh, I've seen him beaten as early as 21 seconds, so, you know, if this is getting a little bit frustrating for you, watching how much I may or may not suck, uh, it might be worth it for you to check out those YouTube videos. So yeah, I just gotta dodge a couple more of these. The reason you want to knock him out rather than knock him out, knock him down three times and get the win that way is so you don't have to deal with him doing all those karate kicks, which takes up an awful lot of your time. But anyway, we, we do okay. It's not great. I mean, I've probably done better on Dragon Chain, but it's not so bad. So we will move on to the third one then. Uh, fourth place. It's not too bad. I was only one behind Rocky there. Did you see that? So now we have Masked Muscle, a Mexican Lucha Libre whose special move is throwing tacos at you. Alright, I'm fucking with you, but I bet I almost had you. Masked Muscle is also coincidentally what I call my penis when I put a condom on. When I don't have a condom on, I just call it a bald bull. So uh, Masked Muscle's real special move is actually to spit in your eye. Uh, and if you don't get out of the way in this in time, you'll be temporarily blinded which is similar to what happened to me after I saw the new Resident Evil movie. Normally, I'm actually a lot better at this guy, but I keep getting hit because I guess it's been a while since I played the game, and also I just have this weird uh, let's play curse, I guess, particularly on the, the major circuit. This is the first boxer, I believe, where you have to uh, watch what hand you're throwing your punches with. So, like, sometimes he'll do a move where he uh, slides a little bit to your left or right, and you have to hit with the left or the right. If you hit with the other one, it'll just completely miss him. That headbutt is actually uh, kind of hard to avoid, particularly if you're a new player. 
and it does an awful lot of damage. I don't think it's a one-hit KO, I can't quite remember, but uh, I definitely remember it frustrating me when I was a kid. So this guy is kind of a, a neutered version of Super Macho Man, who was present in the NES Punch-Out with Mike Tyson and Mr. Dream, and also is the boss of the world circuit, not to spoil anything for you, but I'm assuming that most people who are watching this Let's Play are watching it because they have fond memories of it as a kid. So uh, yeah, I imagine you already knew that. So he's, uh, he's really easy, there's not a lot to say. It takes me a little bit longer than it should, but you know. In the end I got the, the knockout, so that's all that matters. And here, second place. So now I'm kind of, uh, I'm thinking I might be in danger of not coming first overall on this circuit, which would be pretty embarrassing, considering I'm putting this for the whole world to see on YouTube. <clears throat> Alright, so this is Mr. Sandman. He's an enormous black guy who wears purple eyeshadows so thick that he kind of looks like a, a Japanese geisha. And really, if you look closely, I think he actually might be a palette swap for E. Honda from the Street Fighter series, which is really bizarre. For new players, he is a lot harder than any previous opponents you fought, because he's pretty unpredictable. Uh, he's got very high defense, he takes a lot to knock down. Uh, you won't notice it here, because I'm decent against him, even though I just took two, two pretty huge shots right there. But uh, yeah, for new players, he's very hard. His defense is very high, and his punches do a lot of damage. He also doesn't really have an easy trick to beating him, which a lot of the other players do, even though I haven't shown it for all of them. Um, oh, I actually thought he was going to get up on two there. <clears throat> yeah, so he doesn't have an easy trick to beating him. You basically just got to wear him down. And uh, memorizing those tells that he has, which kind of telegraph what punches he's going to do, is so important. Because if you don't do that, you're going to end up losing your super punch every two or three punches. And, uh, you know, that's not going to be good. You might lose because you run out of time. You only have three minutes to, uh, to beat him, and if you don't beat him within that three minutes, then you, uh, you just automatically lose the fight. But anyway, this is going pretty well. If you noticed after the third, uh, sorry, the second knockdown, his coach tells him to like really turn it on now, so he gets a little bit harder, and uh, he throws a few more punches in each of those combos, which can really catch you off guard. But overall, that was actually uh, that was a pretty good fight. I'd be surprised if that wasn't number one or number two. No, oh, number one, number one with the bullet, and oh, I barely beat Ken Lob to take number one in the major circuit overall. So you know, maybe I'm down on myself too much. I'm not that bad at it. So, congratulations to our new Major Circuit Champion, Cobra. I will see you guys in part three of this Let's Play where we do the World Circuit. Thanks for watching.